Tonight, a mix of emotions for the family of Angela Heyman, the 74 year old woman who was shot and killed under her carport by 15 year old Xavier Cade more than two years ago. Today, he was sentenced to prison. Fallon Brown here with more. Cade, who is now 17, took a plea deal and was sentenced to 25 years in prison for manslaughter. The family of the victim tells me this gives them a little relief, but they're still questioning if justice was really done. The last two and a half years have been an emotional roller coaster for the family of Angela Heyman, who was gunned down in her own driveway in 2019. My mom's biggest fear was being preyed upon, and that's exactly how her life ended. Heyman's killer, 17 year old Xavier Cade, lived in the same neighborhood as the couple he was attempting to burglarize when the murder took place. This incident it happened between neighbors and co workers. My stepdad was a co worker of Xavier's mother. And they were also neighbors. They lived two streets down from each other. Today, a judge sentenced Cade to 25 years in prison for manslaughter as part of a plea deal. It's a sentence that holds little value to the victim's family after the horrifying killing. It's really hard to put a number on my mother's life. You know, we agreed to the to the the 25 years, but that's also the law. The judge did a really good job of upholding the law, but that put limits on what we could, on what this young man could be sentenced to. While awaiting trial, Xavier Cade didn't stay out of trouble. Last October, Cade was caught trying to buy a handgun with counterfeit money, only after successfully disabling his ankle monitor. If you commit murder, no matter what age you are, you should not be allowed to sit at home on ankle monitor. That same month, Cade and four other juveniles violently escaped the Baton Rouge Juvenile Detention Center, where he was held. He was caught and taken back into custody, only to attempt another escape in November. Even the judge mentioned this morning, you know, that, that Mr. Cade was very lucky to not receive a life sentence. Now, Cade will be locked up among adults in state prison. The thought of that bringing little relief to Heyman's family. If there's anything that we're upset with, it's the law itself. Moving forward, the next step is to heal and advocate for change to laws that don't seem to work. You know, there's, it's really hard to feel relief when there is a well, child that just completely made some stupid decisions that is that just completely destroyed his life so there's there's a lot there's no there's no win in that although Cade is sentenced to 25 years in prison he will be eligible for parole in 18 years with good behavior that time could be reduced even more Sylvia 